My greetings to all table tennis lovers. Hello everyone. Today we are going to review Blade by Dr. Neubauer, Grandmaster Plus. That's why we invited Grandmaster of Ukrainian Defense, Valentin Yunchik. So, have you ever played with Dr. Neubauer Blades? No, I haven't, but I see it's good. Of five layers. The pedal is oversized. So, it's interesting to try. Which rubbers will we use? Xiaomi Vega Asia 1.9 mm and TSP Curl P1R 1.1 mm. So let's try pips in rubber on this blade. Who is your role model among defenders? Probably Josie Hugh. Not bad, but he attacks well. What about playing with this blade with attack? It's death. I felt comfortable in attack, and if to compare to your previous. My rubber is rather slower, but I want to add some speed. Josie Hugh plays both defense and attack well, so let's try defense. Valentin made me sweet. What can you say about forehand chop? It may seem quite high, but Valentin can spin forehand and backhand and there is super heavy underspin. So what can you say? It's quite good. You should play underspin at first. And if an opponent continues to the same direction, it's better to play fishing and then turn to attack. But only if an opponent tries to make more pressure to forehand. Otherwise you should chop. It was good in attack. And what about pips? Backhand pips have good control. It's better to chop toward in a modern style. Because the blade's speed allows playing in such a way. So when an opponent plays top spin and I chop, the ball doesn't overfly. You just need to underspin. Maybe it's time to maximize this idea and try to play chop blocks near the table. As modern defenders have a reputation for flexibility. Flexibility is a good move. Ruven Philos plays backhand toward in such a style and blocks backhand as well. So let's try blocks. It was not easy to play against as usual, especially considering power forehand attack of Valentin. What can you say? I liked it. What may I add? It was comfortable. Yeah, but there are a major variety of other pips with heavy reverse and with which it's more comfortable to play near the table. I think these pips are more for medium and far zones. You may play near the table, but it's better not to focus on this zone. You recently lost to famous leader of national team Yaroslav Zhmudenko by 3-2. What did you lack? The game was too fast and I have no time to make decisions. Maybe you should try Grandmaster Plus to win Yaroslav. Maybe. So let's go into our traditional chapter where me, attacker, try to play with the other equipment. So, Sergey, what can you say about these pips? 
I don't know, but I like the min attack. The blade is quite fast. If I had to play with this blade only, I wouldn't very upset. I'd put on short pips backhand. What about this blade backhand? I am bad at backhand defense and at backhand attack as well. It's true. So, let's conclude. It was an interesting review. How do you think, why was it called Grandmaster Plus? Because it's easy to control, play and in professional hands it will be great. Grandmaster may be the process of creating of such blades, when a creator is like a Grandmaster of proceeding these layers. Would you put these pips on? Maybe you would beat Yaroslav with them. I'd try to play with it at tournaments. I want to learn them more. It's interesting all-round blade, that will suit amateurs and professionals near the table and defenders in aggressive style. I'd like to add, that it has good control and depends on rubbers. It's deaf, medium and you can counter-attack with faster blades. Or you can defend forehand and backhand with slower ones. The same with pips. You can play in medium or far zone with curl or chop block near the table. Pips with heavier reverse, all blocking near the table. You can focus on this zone and block with fast forehand and attack as well. So it's a happy medium of Blade Master, Dr. Neubauer. So see you in the next review. Bye. See you.